Hey, I'm Denny Chapman, and welcome to The Gun Show. We've got a fun episode lined up for you today with an interview with UFC fighter and firearms enthusiast Luke Rockhold and our featured product, the Arsenal Sam 7K34 pistol. All right, guys, I spent some time at SHOT Show 2022 in Las Vegas, recently interviewing Second Amendment influencers and other interesting people in the 2A industry. And one of those people was UFC fighter Luke Rockhold. We're going to share that interview with you in just a moment before we get into our featured product of the day. And remember, you can always go back and watch this entire episode after the fact on our YouTube channel, The Gun Show. And we're also cross-posting on John Martin Talks and all the other BDU social media platforms, including the new excluded.com. That's why I'm making the X, guys. It's spelled X-C-L-U-D-E-D. -E so make sure you check it out and subscribe there as well. Hit those buttons. And remember to engage, speaking of hitting buttons, wherever you're watching, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And by engaging, remember that you can help set a positive to a algorithm on social media. All right, let's get right to the good stuff. Check out this interview with UFC's Luke Rockhold Shot from Shot 2022. Show 2022. We're in the Big Daddy Limited booth. Luke Rockhold, MMA fans probably already know who this guy is. And the really cool thing, Luke, that I've seen is with uh, mixed martial arts and just fighters in general, there seems to be a relationship between fighters and, and guns. What is that? I mean, we like protection. We like to stay armed. His hands are lethal weapons, so you know you might as well uh, <laughs> might as well carry a gun too, because it's the same thing. No? Yeah, uh -huh. for sure. So, uh, for folks who you know, I, I want to know your story because I've I've followed you, uh, your MMA career, and I'm an MMA MMA fan. But I want to know how you got interested in guns, and what was your first experience with a gun, and what how did it lead you where you are today? Um, I'd say my. You know, my interest in guns is kind of similar to my interest in fighting. It's like it's it's exhilarating. It's it's uh, something that's it kind of like heightens your senses and, and scares you a little bit. You know, yeah. If something if it if it doesn't scare you, it's like what's the point of it? You know what I mean? I gotcha. You know, so, you gotta you gotta you gotta test yourself to, to really like kind of figure out what's what's the, what's on the other side. And that's that's the that's that pot. That's the gold pot. Yeah. The, 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 the thrill pot. seeking aspect of it, right? It's, a, it's the it, adrenaline. It's the a, adrenaline. You know, rush. There's nothing like adrenaline, and like you know, you're heightened that senses and that adrenaline. It's just it's a it's a feeling that you can't match. Yeah. And you just want a, more and more of it. Yeah. So, I, uh, I saw you having a great time at Epic Shoot. Yeah. Epic, right? Epic Shoot was a you good were time. You were tearing it up. I mean, right off, they just flew me in, drove me to the spot. Put me right back in a, another, another flight in a helicopter. <laughs> but was, a fun flight, because you got to shoot out of the helicopter. Assault rifles in a helicopter is unreal, yeah. So that, that was uh, that was quite the experience. Um, I mean, maybe, my, I don't know, my first my first experience shooting was probably like, you know, maybe a shotgun. You know, it was just like the skeet shooting. Yeah. It was like shooting plays. Is, it's just like, it's, it's such a fun thing, dude. I mean, and it's challenging. It's challenging. It's just it's, it's exhilarating. And, and I, I kind of got looped in through that and just went, down that rabbit hole and it just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Especially so, especially out of that big shoot. Oh my god. Right, right. I can't wait till the next one. Flamethrowers and we might even have open triggers and like, all the good the stuff. Hell yeah. Is going on. We might even have maybe multiple epic shoots next year. Oh shit. How dope would that be? That'd be awesome. <laughs> so your what's your like go to favorite gun to shoot? My go to favorite gun to shoot. Um I mean, it's hard to really go back after you get that that open trigger Glock. <laughs> like, what the hell was that thing that hit you? I mean, it doesn't get much more fun than that thing right now. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, there, there's so many variety. Well, at that event itself, you essentially can shoot whatever you want. For yeah. those of you who don't know what Epic Shoot is, this is a huge event that Big Daddy Unlimited sponsors, and we bring in influencers, cool people like Luke people who uh, just bring attention to the 2A industry, the firearms industry. We make content. We shoot guns. We shoot hundreds of thousands of rounds at Epic Shoot. We blew things up. Did you get to blow anything up? I didn't get to blow anything up. <laughs> Maybe next year. Wow. It was I mean, awesome. We're... Hundreds of 2A influencers and firearms industry reps. All the latest guns and gear we personally interviewed. I personally interviewed some 
30 odd influencers. And uh, by the way, we'll be airing those conversations and interviews on The Gun Show and various other BDU social media channels. So make sure you stay tuned to all our stuff and you can check it out. Now we're going to check out this cool looking AK style pistol right after our safety segment. We're going to take just a moment and review the four cardinal rules of gun safety. Here we go, guys. Rule number one, treat all guns as if they're loaded at all times. Number two, never, ever, ever point a gun at anything you don't want to destroy or shoot. Common sense, right? Number three, though, that's your trigger finger. That's always your best safety. You're your own personal safety with that finger. Keep it away from the trigger until you're ready to fire. And number four is always know your target, what's in front of, beside, around, behind that target. The four cardinal rules. Remember, commit them to memory, memorize those, and so we want you to be a safe and responsible gun owner when you're going out there and enjoying your Second Amendment rights. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at this gun. This is the Arsenal Sam 7 k 34 pistol. That's right. I said pistol. It's an a, It's a 7.62 by 39 AK style pistol, not a rifle. And that's because this barrel is less than 16 inches long and it does not have a buttstock. We'll explain that a little bit more later. Now, if you're familiar, if you're watching this and you know AKs, you're an AK guy or gal, you know uh, AK style firearms, you know that this is the highly desirable Bulgarian made AK pistol with a milled receiver has an eight and a half inch chrome lined hammer forged barrel. You guys know, if you watch me enough, I love the hammer forging process because that makes a very accurate and very strong, very tough, durable barrel. There is a rear quick detach port on the back of this lower receiver. I'm pointing at it with my finger right there as well. And that's very interesting because you can actually mount several different things. You can mount a sling swivel there. You can mount a pick rail to actually attach a uh, pistol style brace there or lots of other accessories there. So that's something I really appreciate about this uh, firearm. Now, if you're, by the way, if you're concerned, you heard me say eight and a half inch barrel and you're thinking, well, I'm concerned about the barrel length of this pistol for this round. Let me educate you a little bit. Uh, I've educated myself. I learned a lot about the 760 by 39 round. First off, with this round, you're going to have a complete powder burn at about seven and a half inches, believe it or not. It's a true story. Longer barrel simply gives you more velocity uh, and thus uh, longer range. With this barrel, you should be pushing a muzzle velocity somewhere around 1900 or 2000 feet per second. It's got a uh, threaded front sight block here. Uh, by the way, this, uh, this is a uh, threaded barrel as well, guys. It will accept other muzzle devices like flash hiders, muzzle brakes, compensators, or suppressors. And a really cool thing <clears throat> that I like about the Sam 7K34 is this optics rail right here. That makes it really easy to mount up a red dot sight. We're not going to mount it on the side. The red dot mount actually brings that mount up and over the receiver and you mount that red dot up here on top. Uh, there are lots of different red dot adapters out there on the internet. We even have a few on the Big Daddy Unlimited website. Has a milled receiver. Why is that significant? You might be asking yourself. Uh, each receiver begins as a hot die hammer forged receiver blank. Other AK milled receivers are machined from bar stock. Now Arsenal's hot die hammer forging process produces a stronger, a much stronger, finer grained steel. All the internal voids and cooling deformations are eliminated by a five ton hammer forging process. The Arsenal AK receiver break, uh, blank requires five and a half hours of milling time. It's a very complex process with unequaled attention to detail resulting in an outstanding uh, strength, precision, and durability in the manufacturing process of this pistol. Makes it very special and highly desired. As I mentioned, it's got this rear QD port. By the way, we have a nice variety of pistol braces available on the Big Daddy Unlimited website. Now the furniture, by the way, when we were talking about furniture with these firearms, uh, we're talking about the forend, the handguard, um, the, the grips, the butt stocks. Uh, the furniture is really cool on this uh, firearm because it's original Bulgarian furniture. Um, we've got serrations here on the handguard that give you a really nice grip with uh, uh, also on the pistol here. Uh, we have a very nice pistol grip here. It has a very unique angle to it that's a little more ergonomic 
for AKs I think you guys are really going to appreciate. It's got some ambidextrous controls, got ambidextrous safety. This is a traditional AK style safety here that I'm manipulating with my thumb. But watch this, my thumb disappears and it's moving. Why? Because we've got an ambidextrous switch on the other side and that's something that's very rare with AK style firearms and another thing that I really appreciate about the SAM 7 uh, K34. It's got a five round magazine, but it'll accept higher capacity AK mags. There's a bunch of them out there, guys. Those of you who are AK enthusiasts already know this, but if you're not, you can go on the Big Daddy Limited website. You can find a bunch uh, to uh, choose from on uh, BDU. Now, something also that I really appreciate about this gun is the rear sight. Most AKs have a very rudimentary rear notch sight, but the SAM 7K34 has a protected ghost ring rear sight that has the ability to flip to a notch sight. If I can manipulate, there we go. Now we have a notch sight. We can flip that up to a ghost ring sight. The lights in the studio are playing with my eyes a little bit. You gotta love live TV here, guys. This is something that's kind of unusual. Usually, when we're talking about these AK style firearms, we have a little bitty rear notch that's on the top of the receivers. Most times on the top of the dust cover back here. Uh, however, again, um, we have the flip up back here. It gives you a little more capability. With the ghost ring, you'll be able to shoot a little more accurately. Myself, I would put a red dot on this pistol. Right, Reese? I love red dots. <laughs> uh, you might be asking yourself, what is this strange looking apparatus? This kind of looks like a notch sight, but it's not. This is a, a hinge, actually. It's a spring-loaded hinge uh, that keeps the dust cover up when you field stripping your gun. So, by the way, let's do a little safety here real quick. I'm going to hold this action back. We're going to check visually and physically. No magazine, empty chamber. Magazine is out, chamber is empty. When we field strip this gun, <clears throat> and it's not too difficult to do. We'll push this little button on the back of the hinge cover. See how it flips up and stays up? That's what I was talking about when I was referring to uh, the spring-loaded hinge cover. That's also a very nice amenity, this, this pistol. We don't always see that with AK-style firearms, and it's something that I really appreciate. Now, field stripping is quite easy. We can field strip it into essentially three pieces. And there you are, guy. guys. We are field stripped with the SAM 7K34. It's pretty simple to put back together as well when things don't fall apart on you in the middle of the television show here. Here we go. Uh, we were just talking earlier today, Reese, my producer and I, Reese Richards, Mr. Bearded Outdoors himself, we were talking about putting together a blooper reel uh, because a lot of things happen here on the set, like today, for instance. And let's see if I can get this thing put to back, back together real quick. Here we go. All right. You got to love it. You got to be able to do a little performing under pressure here in the studio. Yay, everybody stand up and give me a big cheer at home. I'll pretend I can hear you. And we're going to put it back together. And whoo, I think I can keep my job. <laughs> the Arsenal Sam, uh, 7K34 pistol available on the Big Daddy Unlimited website with a special price for BDU members. It's really easy to find. You're going to type in Arsenal. SAM 7K-34. And remember guys, you can call our customer service reps if you have any questions or need more information on this firearm or any of the other 300,000 items that we have to offer to our members. If you're not a BDU member, just hit that join now button. We provided it in the description where you're watching. It might be the this side, that side, up or down, just look for it, hit it, and you can grab a 30-day trial membership to BDU for 99 cents. Can't buy much for a dollar these days, guys, but you can buy that trial membership to give BDU a try with full member benefits, access to all of our items, guns, ammo, optics, holsters, accessories, our awesome website, there it is right there, guys, and lots of other cool Second Amendment related stuff, all at wholesale prices. And as I mentioned, you'll also have access to our customer service reps, live people, no kidding, guys. I get to see them every day right here in our Gainesville, Florida headquarters, ready to take your call and answer your questions with their expert knowledge and give you that VIP customer service that you deserve. And as a member, you'll also have additional benefits like 2A insurance, your own digital gun vault. And I don't know if you have all your serial numbers of all your 
uh, guns memorized. I don't. Well, we give you the capability to keep track of that digitally as a member, and you'll have exclusive BDU member content. We've actually got an exclusive BDU huddle coming up soon, so make sure you watch your email and your notifications, and we'll tell you how to tune into that. All right, I can hear the music. That's my cue. My time is up. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again soon on The Gun Show.